Our another important feature of the cell is cell wall. Plant cell in addition to plasma membrane have another rigid outer covering. Earlier we have seen that plasma membrane is a flexible and it is made up of lipid and protein molecule. Plasma membrane will be within and outside covering is rigid and that is known as cell wall. And this cell wall is only present in plant cell. It is not present in animal cell. So in plant cell in addition to plasma membrane the another rigid outer covering is there and it is known as cell wall. It is something like this. If inside plasma membrane is there then outside cell wall is there. It is rigid and it is strong. It is made up of cellulose and it gives structural strength to plant. Plant needs to stay upright and this structural strength will be given by the cell wall to each and every cell. So this cell wall is made up of cellulose, it is rigid and it is an outer covering of the cell. When living plants loses its water, through osmosis there is a contraction of content of the cell. So from here the cell content has been has started and here there is a plasma membrane. Outside there is a cell wall. So because of osmosis when the lot of water will go out and there will be a shrinkage of the content of the cell like this and it will be separated from the cell wall. There is a contraction and this content will shrink. It will get shrink inside. So that is known as plasmolysis. This process or this phenomenon is known as plasmolysis. When living plant loses water through osmosis, there is a contraction of content of the cell away from cell wall. And this phenomenon is known as plasmolysis. So this is plasmolysis and this happens because of osmosis. And through osmosis when lot of water will be loses up from the cell, then inside content will contract and it will get separated from the cell wall. So that process is known as plasmolysis. One of the important feature of cell wall is in plants, fungi and bacteria, the cell wall permits in plant, fungi and bacteria, the cell wall permits the cell to withstand very dilute external media without bursting. So when Hypotonic solution is there. Now what is the meaning of hypotonic solution? That water movement will be from outside to inside. That is known as hypotonic solution. So when water will get in via semi permeable membrane, the cell will likely to swell up. So if the cell is something like this, then water will rush in because of the concentration difference and this happens in hypotonic solution when inside concentration is less. So from outside the water molecule will come in and the cell is likely to swell up. Now in this case when cell will swell up the cell content will extend a pressure to the cell wall. And here this is an outside covering that is cell wall and it is a rigid structure. So it will also equally exerts the pressure inside. So it will help cell not to burst in this situation when cell will swell up. So cell swells building up the pressure against the cell wall. So this content will build up a pressure and that is towards the cell wall. This inside content will build up a pressure because it has become swollen. Now cell wall is a rigid structure and it will exert pressure towards inside and it will help cell to survive in this difficult situation. But their wall exerts equal pressure against it and help them to survive without bursting. So in very dilute medium, plants, fungi and bacterial cell will survive because of their cell wall. So cell wall is giving a strength and structure to any particular cell. So hope this video has solved your doubt. In coming videos we are going to learn some more important concept. So don't forget to subscribe learn yourself. I'll see you in next video till then. Keep learning. Keep sharing.